guys, welcome back. So I did a thing. I upgraded the Mavic Mini here to this Mavic Air 2, which means drone registration for this guy. I'll put a link to the FAA website down below, but this is where you need to go to understand everything you need to do to get your drone registered, all the things you need to do to the drone, where you can fly, how, fly, how high you can fly, and what locations. It prompts you to download this before you fly app, which is a good app, a good resource for you. And then it also has down here what we need to do in the future, which is essentially everyone, regardless of whether you're trying to make money off your drone or if you're a recreational flyer, you will have to take an aeronautical test. Here's the applications I've found useful so far. Obviously the DJI, you can't fly it without. Air Map to me has been the best one. And then the Before You Fly app. Drum Rush is another really good resource. It just takes the FFA, the FAA information and makes it a little more, makes it a little better to understand. It gives you all the things you need to do before you fly. I definitely recommend reading all this information prior to buying your drone so that you know what you're getting into. Uh, for me so far, AirMap has worked the best for requesting flight time. This AirFly application. It allows you to know how how high you can fly and where. In addition to that, it lets you request flight time. Sadly, there's been tons of fires lately in California for the last few months. And of course, my color editing still needs some serious work. What was really cool about the drone going from the Mini to the Mavic Air 2 here is the fact that it will track you as well as actually has avoidance. Now the avoidance does not stop left and right movement. It will potentially run into something if it can't see something on the right or the left of it or the top of it. But from the bottom and the front and the rear of the drone, it will see things and stop before it hits them. I was afraid to do this on the bike at first prior to because I'm not quite sure how the avoidance would work but it seems like it's working pretty good so it's time to try it out with the bike. The gimbal is pretty stable obviously with the way it's moving around fast and slow. definitely pretty impressed with how it tracked me and still avoided all these trees. I was afraid to go too fast because you could pull away from its tracking, but more testing to come. Lucky to live around Paso Robles here where it's just wine country everywhere, some vineyards, 
the vineyards are absolutely beautiful. So I figured I'd get out here and get the drone up in the air and see what they look like from above. Hope you enjoy the video. I'm having a great time with this new Mavic Air. It's quite a pleasant upgrade from the Mini. Not that there's anything wrong with the Mini, the Mini was fantastic, but the whole obstacle avoidance and tracking thing to me just sounded amazing. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.